So effect expression controls slider control. We want to add a controller for the random position. So we'll type enter position and we'll add another one effect expression control slider control and we'll call this rotation and we'll make one more and we'll call it random. And I'll explain that in a little bit. So these are our main controls and let's go and set it up with this layer. So make sure you make the layer a 3D layer and then hit P, hold down shift and then hit R. So we bring up the position and the rotation and on the control layer hit E and we're going to show the random rotation and position values. Now we're going to alt click on the position stopwatch. That brings up the expression control here and we're going to type value and that just takes the current value and we're going to type plus and we're going to make an array. So bracket comma zero comma zero comma zero and what this says is value plus zero for x, zero for y, and zero for z. Now instead of zero for the last value we're going to type something else. So say 500. You can see the position changes as we change that value. But instead of making it a number we're actually going to do a random expression using the wiggle. So what we're going to type is wiggle parentheses zero comma and what we want to do for the value is actually pick whip the position slider and that adds a bunch of code make sure you don't move the cursor and then you're going to type end parentheses now in order to make this work we need to type bracket to close the bracket so that's going to make it so we have one value created and that value is then added to the z value now for a little bit more information on expressions, check out the tutorial page and click on expressions. And you can check out the tutorials that deal with expressions and uh, there's a lot of good ones there. Uh, frankly, you should watch all of the tutorials because even if you're not interested in a specific subject, there's always uh, you know helpful tips and things that uh, you should know. So back to our main project. What I'm going to do is now go to the rotation, the Y rotation, because we want it to rotate like that. I'm going to alt click on the rotation, and this is easier. We just type wiggle, parentheses, zero, comma, and then we just pick with the rotation, and then we close it, and then we can click away. So that's all we write for that. Now, the other thing we want to link up is the random value, and this way we can dynamically control the randomness. And to do that, we're going to go into each one of these, and we're going to type seed random. And remember, it's all case sensitive. Seed random, parentheses, and we're going to pick whip that value. So whatever that slider value is, is what's going to go here. Uh, and we're going to type plus oh! index, and close the parentheses, and we click away. And we go ahead and copy this line, copy, and paste it to the top of this line. So just uh, see, we'll make a little space and we'll paste it there. So hopefully you can see all of our fancy code. Pretty straightforward, but that's what we got to do. Now, we take the layer and we're going to run our mask script. Script, run script, make sure the layer is selected. Select the script and choose open. And that creates all of our layers. Things are looking good. I'm actually going to shut off the masks and we're going to create a background layer. So new solid, we'll make it black, we'll add a ramp, generate ramp, we'll uh, pick a few colors here. We've got a lot of work to do, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. I hope you guys are ready to learn. You have to be motivated to learn. That's how you learn, according to my teacher frankly was never really that motivating. Um, anyway, we take our background layer here, move that to the bottom, and what we're going to do is see about our expressions. So we want to make sure they work. So what I'm going to do is play around with the position value here. Actually, before I do that, we're going to make a new camera. And we'll choose OK. And we'll even make a new light. Just make a point light, 100% intensity, we'll make it white. We don't want to cast shadows, and we'll choose OK. And we can move that light back 
a little bit. Now let's go to the control layer and we're going to adjust the position. So if we increase the position randomness, the layers are going to start sliding into Z space. And that's what we want. So we create this really dynamic animation simply by keyframing this one value. Now, the rotation works the same, randomly rotates, and uh, we can you know, really create some interesting looks. So let's start animating and seeing what we can come up with. So I'll go and set a keyframe for the position and rotation. I'll move forward maybe two seconds or so, and we'll reset it or set it to zero. And that's just going to make it so that the values animate from whatever they are down to zero. Now we can take these keyframes, choose easy ease, and that way they'll be smooth as they come into themselves. Now we can take our keyframes here and choose easy ease and that way it's a nice smooth gradual animation and here we can just make adjustments so instead of any rotation we'll just increase the position offset and now we see that's what happens but what if we wanted something different this isn't you know, this piece is just in the wrong place well this random control allows us to randomly pick a seed that we want to use so if you can't find something you're looking for, just you know, to keep adjusting that until you get a random look that you want. So that's very powerful and uh, you know something I thought would be good to build in. So we'll go ahead and set it maybe to one. You know, we'll see what that looks like. And the other thing we need to do is create another light. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the rotation up so that we can see what's happening here. And in fact will mission offset zero. So we're actually just going to be rotating it in. And what I'm going to do is take a light and duplicate it. Edit, duplicate. And I'm going to move it behind the main layer. And you see how it shuts off because it's behind the layer here. And we're going to go ahead and hit AA. Brings up the controls for 3D layers or lights. And we're going to make it uh, an orange color. And we'll turn it up really bright. So you can see the orange is bleeding in on these layers that are facing that direction. And the good thing about that is it adds the depth so that when they close down, you no longer see it. But if we adjust the position of this light just right, um, I'm just moving it on the Z. Uh, I can just hit P. We can adjust it right here even. Maybe uh, negative 0.5. 0.5. And we can, you know, turn the turn the value down. It doesn't need to be that intense. But the idea is to just give you a little bit more depth by adding that extra layer of light. And the other thing we can do is, you know, make another light. Maybe put it on the other side and make it blue. Um, but, you know, I'll let you guys play around with that. So just play around with the lighting. It's, uh, it's a cool way to get some interesting effects.